G'day mate and welcome to Desynced with me, GD. Now, you may be asking yourself, GD, what is this game? Why is it on the channel? I've never heard of it before. And I will tell you, it is a brand new, not quite released yet, automation logistics game with an awful lot of RTS elements thrown in. And as I've been playing RTSs for, well, half my life now, I'm always curious about a good RTS game. It also has the automation logistics that I am very, very fond of, so I would definitely want to play this game and give it a good shot. But in saying that, I also played this uh, in the alpha at the start of the year, and which meant when I found out I had an early access to the release date, I reached out to the devs. I'm like, hey devs, can I get an early key? Just, just so I can, you know, make sure we have videos as soon as the game is released. And they said, Jenny, we liked what you did with the alpha. What we'd like to do or would like to offer you is not only key, but we'd also like to offer you the releasing of the videos a couple of days early before the game actually comes out in Steam. So welcome to, well, the very first ep episode of our brand new Let's Play. Being it's a brand new episode of a Let's Play, it helps out very much if I get good engagement on the very first video. So can you do me a favor? Once you finish watching, just tell me down in the comment section below, do you want to see more? Do you not want to see more? What do you want to see next? And if all else fails, just find an emote, drop an emote in there. I'm sure there's an emote for robots somewhere in uh, the grand list of emote choices. If not, copy somebody else's emote, paste that in instead. Very, very much helps out. Speaking of things that help out, I'd really like to, right at the start of the video, just borrow a like. I like to borrow a like, you're not happy with the video, didn't enjoy the video, well, by all means, you can have your like back. And with that out of the way, let's start a brand new game. Uh, now, of course, we have free play. free play. Free play is the only scenario available so far. We have our game seed, which, you know, it's written on the screen if you guys want to play the same seed. We have peaceful mode. Um, there are hostiles on the map that we're going to have to deal with, hence the RTS elements. We also have resource richness. I'm just going to whack this up to high. More of a safety measure. I don't know how important resources were. I know how important resources are going to be. I just don't know how scarce they are. So we're just going to go straight to high right from square one. Uh, Blight is something we'll get into much later in the game. Uh, plateaus are pretty much a plateau. Day, night, cycle, I'm going to leave on for the moment. I may regret this because at night it gets fairly dark. But um, we do have solar. So I figure it would be a little bit shitty of me if I just had, you know, always on day and just use solar panels all the time. Uh, we do have day, night length, which is going to leave as normal. And save replay on, sure, because I don't know what it does. Let's go. Activation protocol, protocol confirmed. Error, main systems check. Error, data integrity. Error, force recovery. Data corruption, activating Higgs protocol. Restarting simulation. Partial recovery confirmed. Simulation integrity desynced. Press any key to begin simulation. Okay. So I wonder if we're a subroutine of a program. Yes. Yes. Hey! Welcome back, Commander. Your ship has been damaged, and I've taken you out of stasis. I am Elaine. Emergent Logistics Artificial Intelligence Network. What you're seeing is a feed from an unidentified planet, where I've deployed a team for you to command. This planet seems to be the source of the damage, and we are unable to leave the planet's orbit until our ship is repaired, and the source of the damage is identified. Okie dokie. You will need to establish a small mining facility in order to proceed with ship repairs. This will be your primary objective. Communications are currently limited, so one of the first things you will need to do is to establish an uplink from ground level. Try to find metal and crystal deposits, as we will need them for repairs. Found those, boss. Yep. And actually, it's more metal over here. Perfect. All right. Uh, found those. Uh, we're going to deploy our base here, even though it doesn't... Oh, here we go. Deploy command center. Yep, we're going to deploy our command center right there. Which... We've probably seen an RTS before. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, main base is going to disappear and it's going to become a building. All right, we're up and running. Tutorial lady, you coming back? Milestones. No, goals. Uh, did I break the tutorial already? Well, I don't see a way to reset, uh, reset the tutorial, so it looks like I've broken it already. Yay! All right, uh, we need to set up some basic things. So, we have a fabricator. Fabricator will let us start fabricating things, obviously. If I draw the, drop this into a module, so I have a small module into a medium module slot. As we can see, our little fabricator is now here on the front of the building. If I drop it back, it goes back into storage. I want to put that in there, and I want to start smelting our... 
uh, well, item in an item, okay? It's going to smelt metal ore in a metal bars. Excellent. All right, for that, I now need somebody to go mine some resources. Scouts, go start mining that. Also, secondary scout, go start mining that. All right, third scout, it has a logistics network turned on. So as logistics network is turned on, he basically becomes a gopher. He becomes a logistics robot. We will require a large quantity of materials okay, for future production. Up. So having several dedicated production buildings is recommended. I would suggest building one or two more facilities to produce metal bars. The more buildings we have, the faster we will be able to produce materials. Later, we will need to increase the number of mining units in order to keep up with demand. Correct. Excellent. Welcome back, lady. All right. Uh, so we need to build something. I want to build a small building. Okay. It's going to give me extra places to put things down. And I'm going to put one right there. But it also needs um, blue crystals, which means I need to take one of my boys and say, hey, you go get the blue crystals instead. At which point he'll start mining blue crystals Crystal with his little mining laser. In its raw form for now. Metal ore will need to be processed into metal bars. This can be achieved in the fabricator, which you will find on your command center. Cool, cool. Yep, you, 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 you're behind the times, lady. All right, after I get a couple, one more piece, one more piece, one more piece. There we go. All right, we can now build a building. Now, the building is uh, one small slot. That's all it can carry, which means I want to put something in that small slot. My fabricator can fabricate another fabricator. So we can fabrication, uh, fabricate our fabrication. Yes, uh, we'll set you back to two metal bars in the meantime, which means I can come to here. Now I can drag this item from here to here and it will magically go from one to the other, which only helps if you know where your stuff is. If you don't know where your stuff is, you can request and say, hey, I'd like one of these brought from the logistics network to me, which means somebody will go find it and bring it and put it into one of its uh, couple of storage slots. And then we can drag that up there and we can say, hey, you, I want you to smelt metal bars forever. Uh, yeah, forever is the only type of smelting I want to know about. All right, uh, next thing I want to do is, uh, whilst we're waiting on this, can I... That is not a very good source of iron ore. That's a better source of iron ore. Uh, okay, we will... You know what? What we're going to do is we're going to copy this building. Let's see. I'm going to press V and then paste it right there. That'll give me a one for one copy of that building. It does mean I need to have all the other components, which means I'm going to get another fabricator fabricated. So once it's built, it can be dropped in there and we should have that building up and set up and it should do exactly the same recipe as the first building. All right. One more thing I want to do is I want to grab an assembler, which is a medium component, which needs to go into a medium slot. Don't forget the buildings I have currently only have small slots because i'm gonna need to well fabricate some things in the not too distant future yeah uh oh you need plates well turns out we need to start making plates can i have you make actually you have five plates uh can i have you make plates please so we're gonna have to take our fabricator and start making metal plates even though we're not up to, that to produce part yet. more mining units you must fabricate an assembler yep with it you will be able to produce a worker unit yep. and equip it with a minor component yep both of these are produced in the assembler. Yep. It is also capable of producing circuit boards, which are used in unit and component production. Yep. We're on our way. We're on our way, lady. Uh, you have 44. I want to stop you before you get to about 60, because, well, I'd prefer it if you could actually help out with the mining of the iron. The iron is the thing we're having the biggest problem with currently. All right, can I get one of you? Cool. We've now smelted enough uh, metal plates from our metal bars that I can now make a fabricator, fabricator, uh, sorry, an assembler. An assembler will let me make um different things. Yes, can I drop you into that slot? And now we can see we have access to a few new things. First thing we're gonna do is change you over to do circuit boards. And I'm gonna put you back onto metal plates. Yeah. Now, metal plates take two iron bar every six seconds, and an iron bar comes from one iron ore every four seconds. As we can see currently, my resources are limited by, well, I don't have any metal ore. Uh, okay, we'll get to that one shortly. All right, you have 55. You're going to grab some resources from you, 52. 54, come on. Just one or two more. Not, not gonna happen. Okay. All right. Can I get you to drop off your inventory here? One, two, and three. And then can I get you to help out with the mining, please? Because that's our limitation currently. All right. We have a couple of electronic circuits. 
so I want to swap you to make a miner. Uh, can I have two miners, please? And after I have two miners, then we're going to make a couple more mining bots. And then we'll get them up and running as well. It does mean that I need iron bars. So these need to be dropped into here. And then hopefully I can get... Yep, there's one being fabricated right now. Second one being fabricated straight afterwards. And then can I get you to make two bots, uh, please? Which is another lot of iron bars and another couple of uh, uh, circuit boards, which we have a couple. Not many, but a couple. And then once these guys pop out, I will throw the lasers on them. And I need to put one back into crystal mining because I need to complete the goal of, goal of having 60 crystals. Uh, can I throw you in there, please? All right. Uh, we're going to have you do crystals. And when the second one's done... And we'll have you go back to iron mining, please. Uh, sorry, metal mining. Metal mining, yes. Okay. Uh, so we have a whole lot of plates. I'm up to 20. I can set you back to circuit boards, I think. Because I'm going to need a couple of circuit boards for the next step. The next step. There's always, you know, automation games. There's always progress to be done. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah, I need another normal bot. Can I change you out for just a normal bot? I need another logistics bot. Just to move things around. Also need to keep an eye on power. We haven't spoken about power yet. Power is a limiting factor. Yes. Okay. Uh, Worker. Can I set you connect to logistics network? And then you will just start automating. And I love it when you just automate. You'll just go and do things that need to be done. Uh, hmm, we could probably do with another one. Uh, can I get another bot? Yeah. So is that counting up? It is counting up. Okay. Uh, you're processing. Okay, can I set you back to that one? And we'll throw you back into the grid. Alright, so you've got 14, you've got 14. Uh, you actually have materials. So it's not a spelting limitation. It's a... Well, actually, it is a spelting limitation. Okay. Can I copy that? Can I paste that there? Can I swap you to go make another one of those so we have a spare to go into the new building? Yep. That'll be our plan. Uh, you need bars, which, you know, I also need bars for this, and my bars are being held up by... Well, yeah, I just don't have any. All right. And... That's gone down. Yeah, I, I wanted you to go up, actually. <laughs> uh, can you do anything else helpful? Um, just produce that. Sure, we'll, we'll make one of those. Once that's done, at least that's done. Uh, okay, so you're up and running. You're going to start smelting. It's becoming nighttime. Excellent. And can I set you to do metal plates? Because I'm going to need some metal plates. Yep. All right, so we now have an uplink. Now, uplink, uh, well. We should try to make our operations as efficient as possible by having dedicated production buildings. Yeah, we'll get Researching more advanced buildings and we'll get into that too. And by using automation. Automation may be achieved in a variety of ways, the most fundamental of which is our logistics network. Make sure the robots that you wish to be fulfilling orders are connected to this network. Yeah, have done. Okay, we can still see, like, you have 20 materials. And can I just get you to drop your materials into that guy? And then go back to mining? I'll take him a moment or two to burn through, but... Okay, so we... Definitely have an issue with... We are mining faster than we're producing. Alright, so for the moment, I'm going to put the uplink in here instead. Which removes my assembler module. That's unfortunate, but it does act uh, activate. I have established a connection to the surface, and I have already begun Tech synchronizing tree. our databases. With this, we are now able to research new technology from the Tech Tree interface. This will help us replace the missing data from the damaged data center. Okay, so in the Tech Tree, 
we have a couple of different branches. Okay, uh, we have basic research, advanced research, robot research, human intel, human intel, humanity, uh, virus research, virus, alien technology, alien and energetics, also blight research and blight. Yeah, there's a few different things we need to go go through. And don't forget, this is only version 0.1 of alpha. There's already a substantial tech tree. All right, we're going to unlock basic structures because that'll give me a couple of different things I can build. One is going to be a reinforced plate, which is, you know, the next level of uh, construction materials. Also, we have a one by one building with two small modules. This is going to have two small modules rather than the standard one small module we have currently, which means I can put two smelters on that bad boy. Also, we have a, a another building. It's a two by one, which holds one medium and one small, as I only have one building currently that holds medium modules. Having a second building would probably help. Uh, that does mean that I need to give it metal plates. So I need to make sure we have metal plates. We have some metal plates. Uh, in fact, I have an awful lot of metal plates, but I probably prefer more. So uh, can I... If I keep building these little ones, they're going to be limited to tier one only. That's probably okay. That is okay. Uh, can I copy you and paste? Uh, nope, copy and paste and i'm going to go with three more right there now these are going to require uh, gems plus they're going to require smelters i don't have smelters but we can make some smelters that's not an issue and they're basically all ready to go apart from i don't have smelters can i get two smelters yes uh which now means i need more metal bars which should be okay yeah so that's one smelter done. And then I'm going to take this one and put it in the storage, at which point it's probably going to get gobbled up by one of the guys, probably straight away, and whisked off to one of these guys. Now, these are currently doing the recipe of uh, metal bar, or or to ingots. Uh, I'm going to swap them to plates, and I'm going to go with two of them doing dedicated plates, and then we should be fine. You have... Uh, you need three crystals. Oh, you're not in the network. That explains it. As soon as you're in the network, uh, suddenly things start happening. Yes. All right. So we should have circuit boards being produced. We have basic structures progressing slowly. It takes 18 seconds uh, for my uplink to process through one piece of the metal plating. We've got some spares, so that's fine. And now we've got four of these guys doing metal bars. So we're making... Well, if they take four seconds each, we're making one per second. And we got two of these consuming... What's that? Four? Four every six seconds? Which is like one every one and a half? Yeah, yeah. So we've got a slightly surplus production on the metal bars, which is fine. I'd prefer to have some spares rather than not enough. You're also not connected to the network. That explains so much. All right. With them connected to the network, we can now prog uh, progress with this. Research is almost done. I probably want some more bots in the not too distant future, but we'll worry about those in the slightly more distant future. In the meantime, we can see that we have uh, water, water, not oil, uh, water. Uh, we also have all sorts of different ores, some of which I can't access just yet. Uh, and laterite ore, uh, some trees, trees everywhere, like some trees. And the bots are. Well, quietly and quickly zapping things. Yeah. Yeah. I Meanwhile, their power grid's at uh, minus 450 or 500. That's not a good sign. Mothership repairs. Okay. Need higher level material production. Advanced materials are the next level of development, which can be produced in the assembler. We will require a high volume of materials, so you will need more buildings and mining units to keep up with resource demand. Yes, boss. Okay. But before I get into that, I want to go into basic power. Basic power is going to give me two things. Um, one is crystal power. So it lets me actually produce power uh, by converting crystals into power. Good idea. Uh, next one is a light. Well, that would probably help when it gets dark. Next one's a portable power field. So I can put these on the robots to expand out our power grid as long as a robot... It's, think of it like the robot bridging the existing power network. I'll show you the power network in just a second. And then we have a small power field, which is a dedicated uh, building, a uh, dedicated... Dedicated building. Let's go with dedicated building. Uh, a dedicated module in a building that I can produce that will, um, well, uh, extend out our power network. So I want to do this research next. We could ignore her for the moment. And if I press the P button, we can see this is the edge of my power grid. 
also this is the edge of my logistics grid so if i want to go mine this stuff out here i would have to um either automate it with some robots robots and some programming or i would have to uh well manually send them out here wait till they've filled up their inventory enough bring them back so on and so forth could be a little bit of a pain uh what i prefer to do is i prefer right now to extend the grid out that far and that way i don't have to worry about it so to do this research i need to have crystals lots of crystals uh so can i get you to come mine this and can i get you to come mine this and can i get you to come mine this because we have a decent amount of well iron for right now and we're trying to convert crystals into electronics and we now have access to the too small so two you require very basic material you require slightly more complicated material i have a storage for you know generally storing stuff and then we have uh the big building the big building which is something i want but i need 20 of the plates for that so can i get infinite yeah let's just do infinite um because we're gonna need a couple of re we're gonna need a, a good number of reinforced plates uh one for the next research also uh well because i want to build some new bases some new structures some new things yes uh you you help mine go don't don't you've got a laser on top i want you to go mine things rather than hang around and do nothing all right uh do i have access to i do have access to a miner okay can i build uh you have four storage okay can i build one of you right here uh, it's just a one by one it's nothing too special a simple one by one uh but we should be able to build that fairly quickly and then can i build a single mining laser please which now means i need crystals again yeah but we're, we're, we're burning through crystals here okay after you've done that you go back to the reinforced plate and can i take my mining laser and i want to put it on that building because it's it's a small module you can do whatever you want with a small module in my case i want to take my small module put it on a building rather than a vehicle and then have it start um mining well okay hey pay to turn off cool i want to have it start mining the giant crystal because there's ten thousand crystal there which means he's going to be able to mine for quite some time and keep himself very busy okay cool uh we have plenty of crystals between all the workers we can now go mine 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 we'll leave one of you guys on the oh uh can i get you to drop that there then and set you back to mining please Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so we have basic power. Unlocks power generation. Storage components are going to contribute to your and storage components. Uh, I don't think it did any storage, but sure. Uh, they contribute towards your power grid. Excellent. Power is required to running base to go over your power threshold. The efficiency of your units will decrease, making them run slower until they're unable to function. All units have emergency stored power uh, that allows them to return to base in case of a power outage. You can check your power usage in the command center. So this one up here is power in, power out. So we know where it's going roughly uh and yes they have the top bar is how much power they have the bottom bar is like the their little backup their little backup power we can add more power to that later but for right now we'll just you know accept that they that they have a very little backup all right can i build a two yes and we're going to build this where's that power grid down here okay i'm going to build these far away from our original iron source but closer to our future eyes uh, can i get you to do two of those can i also build a second one of these i want to start automating some things uh let's go with there okay so you i want you to request in uh these two off please and you are being built right now you are okay can i i'll have a few okay uh so these are being shipped across okay first one goes into that module and i'm gonna have you do this one and then the second one is gonna go in and do the exact same uh yeah it's being built right now 
So we have plenty of the plates, just none of the ingots, because they've all been upcycled. Uh, okay, can I put you in there? I'm going to set you to do this one as well. Uh, you, I now also want to request in one of these. We got another one that's slowly getting there. Okay. And I think I'm also going to want to extend out the power grid, but we'll do that soon. TM. You're waiting on those. Okay. What does it cost me to build? Uh, probably enough, it's better for me to build that because I have those resources. But I think we're going to go for another one and just be patient. So I'm going to put one of these here with the plan of extending the power grid out to cover this sort of stuff. And then I think we're going to put in another mining tower. Yeah. Okay, so you're now done. What I want you to do is I want you to do this forever. That way I have an unlimited supply. Uh, actually, cancel. Cool. I want to copy and paste you so I have a friend. Yeah, then I want you to do that forever. That way, if I build a building and I ask for one of these things, they just show up. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to build one of those because uh, I want to put a power pole down here. If I get a power pole down here, we can, um, well, extend out the power network. Yeah, yeah. Also, you're now done. I now have the fabricators automated. So we're going to copy and copy and paste uh, to there. Yeah, and as long as I... I don't have electronics automated yet, but we can get those automated shortly. At the moment, we'll just deal with what's in our buffer storage and we can go from there. Can I go for one of the... Uh, that's medium. Yeah, can I get three, four? What do you cost? You cost plates. We have plates. I have a lot of plates, actually. All right, you're now done. Can I request in a power pole? I should also reinforce plates. 20. How many do I have? 14. Uh, mm, we'll wait. We'll be patient. Okay. Uh, once I put that in its slot, we can see we now have power out to here, which is perfect because I want to have you stop doing that. I want you to do that instead. Uh, you drop off all of those and have you mine over there instead. Perfect. Uh, I want to copy this building. And 500, 500, 700. Uh, can I paste you? Sorry. Copy. Paste. No. I want it. Oh. There's two little resources on the ground. Hey, you. Come pick up this. Drop those back off. No. Yeah. Drop these here. Oh, now pick up these. Thank you. Come here. Drop, pick up that one and that one. And are there any others? No. Oh, back it. Back it. Off the network. Off the network. Then can you come over here and pick up these? These are just sitting on the ground. You can just pick them up. Oh, there's some there. Pick up those. And pick up those. We can see we're outside the grid, so the power's going down very slowly. Uh, pick up those. Okay, now we should be able to copy that building, hover our mouse over this tile, and hit paste, and drop that there. Perfect. Can I get you to pick up that as well? And then you can go back in the network, and I'm sure you'll find something to do with that. All right. I need to make a minor module because, well, you don't have a minor. Uh, you... I'm going to do that, please. And you need one of those. Of... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, huh. Okay, you're meant to be doing those forever. Okay, you are going to go into there. Great. You are going to make these uh, forever. Perfect. All right. 
Can I copy and paste? Mm, hopefully you don't set the recipe. Alright, did I make a mining module? Uh, looks like it. Can I add a spare mining module? Alright, you mining module, you're automated to do the crystal chunks, because that's what you were sitting beside when I copied you, but instead you're going to do iron. Uh, cool, you're going to start mining metal as well. Alright, next up is... Uh, next up is... Okay, I want to build... Uh, building mediums. Can I throw one of these here? Yep, we, we know about that, lady. Uh, power's still okay, because I haven't maxed out yet, but, you know, give it time. Uh, so, oh no, you need the reinforced plate. Okay. We're going to swap you to, obviously, reinforced plate. So I get you built. Uh, you are going to get cancelled. Uh, we're going to set you to do foundation plates. Uh, infinite. So foundation plates are something we can throw down. And that gives you a 20% speed boost. Which is not bad. I actually really like the fact that the robots can move 20% faster on well, metal foundations. So why not? Uh, so you're running. You're maxed out. Uh, the miners are going. These are doing alright. These are doing alright. I have plenty of plates. So my limitation is currently the reinforced plates. I just don't have any of them. And that is purely because it's 8 seconds. And I need to have 5 of them to finish off this. Yeah, can I get that finished? That'd be awesome. Uh, if we can get that finished, I am then going to up our production. Yeah. Meanwhile, what do you cost? You cost... Uh, plate plates and electronics. And I have one electronics to my name. We're, we're not doing that then. We're going to get the second one of this done. And then hopefully... Yep, so you need one more plate. One more plate just got built. Hopefully it gets reserved into there rather than you know, research we're not doing. Great. And you are now being built. Excellent. So as soon as you're built, we're going to put two of these guys in here. No, it's a medium and a small. Okay, never mind. We're going to put that one back in there. We're going to set you to do reinforced plate. We're also going to bring in one of these guys. Uh, because reinforced plate requires uh, a ingot and a plate. So... If I put one of these in here and I tell it to also convert ingots into plates, well, then you're going to start making at least some of your own plates on site. And also means I'm going to duplicate that building. Yeah. And as we already have the assemblers being built it, uh, automated along with the fabricators, well, that should be all right. I just need to have, well, more reinforced plates. Also have, need to have more circuit boards which means I need to swap you back to them. It's a little bit of a fluffing around for the early game, but we'll, we'll get better automation as time goes on. Meanwhile, foundations. Can I get foundations between there and there? Because we're doing a lot of driving back and forth there. Can I also get foundations between, turn off the power grid, uh, here and here. Yeah, and then if I press tab, that should remove our little icons. Because with foundations down, a little bit hard to see. Uh, build. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We've only got one machine running, uh, but it is one ingot into five plates. So it's now just a matter of time for the bots to get the building done. As we've only got three bots, it's probably going to take a minute, but that's fine. That's fine. We've got a little bit of time to wait uh, because... Uh, we're going to leave this episode here. We're going to call this episode one. We have uh, some rudimentary automation up. Uh, yeah, some of that's outside the power grid. We have a, a couple of our guys are still mining over here. We have our little, I don't know, builder miner. Let's go with a built miner. A built miner. Built miner up here doing uh, all our crystal needs. Plus one down here doing uh, surplus iron. I could, and it's something to consider for yourself, I could have built a two and had on this building a miner plus a smelter but the problem is um well we're gonna have iron metal ore coming in and then convert it straight into metal bars on site mm, probably that takes four seconds what do you take to mine uh minor six seconds uh yeah yeah so it would basically just give us well ingots on site metal bars on site 
but the catch is once we run out of ore, we're going to end up with a whole lot of uh, machines sitting around doing nothing. We can deconstruct them later, but that's definitely a later thing that we're not going to get into right now. Uh, right at the moment, with all these guys trying to put down all the production, production's a little bit paused, a little bit stopped. But that's okay, because like I said, I'm going to end this episode here. I am going to remind you, if you're watching this series late, uh, in the first link of the description, first link of the description yep also in the pinned comment below is a link to the playlist you know should you want to sit down and enjoy the whole series also if you want to see more i'm probably streaming this right about now over at twitch again link is going to be down in the description also in uh the pinned comment below and i'll also be streaming again this sunday so swing by twitch click the follow button if you haven't already uh look out for future notifications for future streams because I have a feeling I'll be playing a lot of decent to the not too distant future. Anyway, with all that said, uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed this very first episode. We'll come back for episode two with a little bit more research, a little bit more production, and definitely a whole lot more automation. Anyway, with all that said, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.